Will AMC stock ever squeeze? I see this question so often in all of the live streams that I do, and here's the answer. Yes, AMC stock is going to squeeze if we do what we say we're going to do. Guys, we need to talk about it, okay? I know everybody else always focuses on manipulation, corruption, some sort of a trigger that's going to start to squeeze, some sort of you know, uncovering. They're going to turn some rock over and expose the hedge funds for what they really are, and that's going to cause the squeeze. Other YouTube channels, you watch them, the squeeze is happening this week, the squeeze is happening this week, the squeeze is happening this week, and it doesn't seem to happen. So a lot of people are getting tired and wondering if the squeeze is actually going to happen. So let's talk about that in this video. Let's talk about what we need to see for the squeeze to happen and what we should actually be focused on Instead of focusing on this thing that people say is DD, man, due diligence, they found the next big thing. Life on Mars exists, and it says that AMC is going to squeeze, and then it doesn't squeeze. So guys, if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. All right. Before you even watch the video, share it with somebody because you guys need to hear it. Why do you need to hear it? Because we are being pulled in so many different directions. You know, some guys got this DD today. Some guys that got that DD today. They're doing their research, and they found that this is going to trigger the squeeze. There's no shares left. Apes own four. 490 million out of the 500 million shares. Untrue, but that was trending for a while. They're shorting endless loopholes, uh, endless short positions through bonds. That wasn't true. Uh, what's going on now? The failed to delivers are going to cause the 13 million failed to delivers out there are going to cause so much demand that the short squeeze is going to happen. That clearly didn't happen. What else was gamma squeeze on quadruple witching? It's guaranteed to cause the short squeeze because they're going to have to buy up 60 million shares that expire in the month. That also didn't happen. You've been there. You've seen it. Guys, I know that you're so involved in all of the in all of the research that goes on surrounding AMC. But it's unnecessary. Okay? It truly is. It is un it's fun. It really is. It is fun. I enjoy it. I, I like seeing everybody out there diving into what they believe to be correct and how the market works and how the financial institutions go out there and buy and sell and trade stocks and hedge and all of that. But it's it's distracting. Okay, It's more distracting than positions like Clover and MRIN and Torch and Workhorse and and. All of these other positions that are out there and drawing money away from AMC, the due diligence that is being done is it, it's sloppy for one, but also it's a distraction. Why is it a distraction? Because the game isn't to uncover something that we don't know. That's not what we're doing. The game is to restrict the supply. So I believe that a lot of people have lost focus on what a short squeeze is. So you ask me, is the short squeeze going to happen? And I say yes, if. Why do I say if? Let's think about this. AMC has received so much attention over the last six months. It's received so much attention that it has drawn in so much trading volume. And we've seen it. We've gone from 10 million shares being traded a day up to 100 million. You guys think that 100 million shares on AMC being traded a day is low volume. I've seen you say it. You, you say that the volume is decreasing and volume is low right now. Therefore, we're trading sideways. So when you think that 100 million shares on AMC is low volume, sorry, you are incorrect. Hedge funds, they've got less than 100 million short shares outstanding. They could cover all their positions in a day and not even bat an eyelash. They wouldn't have to worry about it. And that... It should scare you a little bit. If you're scared, I mean, move on, guys. I, I've already been called all the names in the book. You can call me whatever you want. I'm trying to tell you how to set yourself up to watch AMC Squeeze because you need to know at this point. There's a lot of misinformation going on around there. And here's, here's what a squeeze is, okay? When you restrict that supply, because if you go out there and think about it right now, 
if if hedge funds went out and covered in a day, in one day, if they covered in one day, and let's say we just added that volume on top of the current volume we have, maybe we double the volume that's out there. Maybe we go from 100 million shares being traded to 185 million shares being traded. Every single short position was covered. And all we did was add an 85% increase to the current share volume. What do you think that's going to do? Is that really going to drive demand up that high? It, are we not going to be able to cover 85 million shares if people are out there trading AMC back and forth every day. I know every other channel you're going to watch is going to tell you that every single share of AMC is being held and not being sold because apes, not retail investors anymore, every share is owned by apes. It's not true, guys. There are shares available to buy all day long. And with that being the case, how tight can you squeeze something if you're just constantly handing it over? Not you. I know that you watch the videos. I, I am in AMC all day long. I know that we are out here. We're holding the stock. We are doing exactly what we need to do. But it's the people, it's the, it's the remainder of the 4 million shareholders who are out there day trading, who are out there swing trading, who aren't watching for a squeeze, but really wanted to just make some money off of a retail investor rally, off of a pump and dump, off of all of the, 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 I don't know, interest that AMC is uh, bringing in right now, people are feeding on that. And that's the wrong thing to be feeding on with AMC if you want to see the squeeze. So how do you get the squeeze to happen? If you want a guaranteed squeeze, you restrict the supply. Why do you restrict the supply? If you get that trading volume down, and when I say down, I'm talking at least below 10 million shares per day. Why? Because hedge funds aren't concerned. You can look it up. You can Google it right now if you want. Days to cover is a real risk for short positions. Right now, there's zero risk owning AMC as a short position. Why? Because you can go out and cover it at any time you want. Okay? You can go out and cover it in a matter of minutes if you'd like. So days to cover is a real thing. Yes, I know the price is rising, that is excellent. Yes, I, knew, I know new external regulations are coming in, that is also excellent, but we need to create more risks for the hedge funds. And we need to create more risks for us too if we wanna see these ridiculously high prices. Why? Because think about it, if they all covered today and we doubled the, the share volume that's out there, how high do you really think it's gonna go if they cover their short positions and barely increase the shares that were traded. If trading volume comes down, if people are unwilling to part with their shares, if they are not willing to sell the stock, then the price goes up, then the margin calls happen, then the squeeze begins, and then we see those absurd prices that you guys wanna see. Stop relying on naked shorts, stop relying on corruption, stop relying on the due diligence that's gonna to come today and fade tomorrow, start relying on buying and holding the stock. If that is not the message that you are out there spreading, I don't think you wanna see a short squeeze, I think you just wanna see some entertainment, you wanna see some fun, and you, you wanna watch the, the retail pump. You want to watch the, the FOMO buyers come in and drive the stock up. This could be so much bigger than anybody anticipates. This could be something, and you guys know how news stories work these days. They talk about it today, and it's forgotten tomorrow. This could be something that is never forgotten. But you have to do your part, you have to hold AMC, and you have to tell everybody else out there that's holding AMC to hold AMC and not trade it. The distractions are fun, the, the corruption is fun, the manipulation is fun, but money doesn't need to be some sort of a complicated scheme. It doesn't need to be some sort of a, a complicated message. The message is simple. You squeeze the supply and then that incoming demand makes the price squeeze higher. It's very simple at its core, and I hope that each and every one of you guys understand that and can really relay that message to somebody else who needs to see it. So guys, if that subscribe button is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. 
Weeble, $5 all month is all you need to deposit. Use the link in the description below, deposit that $5, and you're going to get two free stocks. If you sign up any other time, you're going to have to deposit at least $100 to get those two free stocks. So make sure to do that. Check out all the links in the description below. Claybro883 on Twitter. Make sure to follow me. And guys, we're going to be starting some giveaways here coming pretty soon. So make sure to check in all the videos. And uh, we're going to get some social media things going on, sharing the videos. we got a lot of giveaways to do. So make sure to check back for that. And of course, until the next time. Hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.